What's up everybody, this is TOM the Gamer and we are playing uh, Alone With You. I believe this is day seven. Hello again, could you, well, could you please come see me in the core? I just want to ask you about something. Is there anything? You left an empty photo frame, a rag, and some non-functioning equipment there. Okay, that's on the desk. Terminal, it's the same kind of standard terminal as your flight around the colony. You can't spare the power cycles for its use at this time, I'm afraid. Okay, so pretty much everything there is the same. So let's go talk to Al, or the AI. Find out what she wants us to do today. What are our tasks? Interfacing. You know what today is? No. No, of course not. That was an unfair question. How could you? Today is my birthday. More accurately, my date of activation was today, back in 2048, when you all arrived. That means I've been active for exactly 16 years. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Tom. I appreciate the sentiment. Okay. Normally, I would not mention such an arbitrary bit of information, but, well... I suppose that now it is just the two of us. I felt the need to share this with you. I noticed how much happier the hologram seemed to be after your evening meetings because you and they shared information. <clears throat> so I thought I'd give it a try, I suppose you would say. In any case, you have three more areas you can visit today. Head to the shuttle base when you're ready. Just play with us. I think the AI is trying to hook up. Okay. Oh, so let's go to the shuttle bay. And now, where do we want to go? Yep, Agridome. We'll basically do the uh, same thing that we did last time. Wait. That one, the mission is complete. That was the one that we went to uh, day six. So we'll go to the Agridome with Leslie. Riding our super shuttle. Let's see if we can get to the other side of the screen for better loading. Oh yeah. Oh, so close. Next time. According to her records, Miss Baradwaj stated that the research town was one of her favorite places. It was also one of the colony's most important facilities. The research here allowed major advances in food processing efficiency. Hopefully you can find some research that might help us extend your food supply for the journey back to Earth. And go. Maybe we can find out some more about what happened with that. With Leslie. This decontamination chamber seems to be working. That's a good sign. It should be finished momentarily. Beep. And it beeped. Exit the decontamination chamber. Now there is a rare site here on Epsilon Eridani B. This outer dome was used for testing research specimens. It was originally a much more structured lab-like environment, but over the years, Ms. Baradwaj transformed it into this garden. If I recall correctly, she and I debated the merits of such an environment. She stated that having the garden wasn't just about science, it was about something more human. I regret that I did not fully understand at the time. So Leslie wanted this garden, mostly probably just because of the uh, aesthetics of it. She liked growing stuff too. That wasn't really, okay, we have like apples or something. Maybe corn, kind of a weird garden. But uh, doesn't really look like we have anything out here to look at here. Okay, so let's go into the laboratory dome. I'm reading a high concentration of foreign air particles from the lab on the west side of that research dome. I think you should check that out first. So we have to go to the west first. But first, let's check out, check this equipment. It's a portable analyzer of some kind. I'm not sure what it would, what use it would be right now, so please keep looking around. 
I'm guessing we're going to be using it though later, so keep that in mind. Portable analyzer, check. To the east lab, to the north lab, and to the west lab. So let's go in the west lab. That tube was breached and the plant inside is mutated somewhat. Toxins from the tube environment must have escaped into this room. Hmm. That terminal cell has some local data that didn't get properly synced with the colony network. It looks like... Oh, it's filter. It looks like Mrs. Hainsworth and Mr. Jager continued their private conversation regarding Miss Baradwaj's leadership capabilities. Okay, so... Just to recap, Mrs. Uh, Miss Hainsworth was kind of the, uh, one of the subordinates of her, of, uh, Leslie. And she thought that uh, Leslie had trouble making decisions. That she was always kind of like putting them off and like uh, talking to everybody else, trying to get their uh, input. And she couldn't actually make decisions. And she had talked to Mr. Shaker about it. And he said that he would like look into it and think about it. So that's what they're referring to. Actually, so I headed out with her, with Baradwaj. Arlo, that's Arlo Jaeger. Um, Ashley Hainsworth and Arlo Jaker. Arlo, you did? What happened? Actually, we had quite a row. I was surprised, actually. But in the end, she agreed with me. I don't know if she wanted to, you know? That irritating sense of duty she has. Arlo, holy... I can't believe you did it. So that's it, then? We're going to proceed with your research plan? Ashley, looks like. We'll show her, Arlo. No more pussyfooting around. We'll get this done fast. Better than with her restrictive rules. Arlo, I... Okay, I just hope we're making the right decision here. Things have been so crazy lately, I hope we can come back from this. So they want to do some kind of research plan, apparently. And she, according to this, she went along with it. Here's a body, the body of Ashley Hainsworth. Ooh. My scan indicates that this is the corpse of Chief, Chief Genetics Researcher Ashley Hainsworth. The skeletal remains are consistent with the osteoporosis she suffered. It appears Miss Hainsworth used exo braces to regain some mobility as her legs were severely affected. The braces remain on the skeleton. Miss Hainsworth was manually writing notes on her research here. They read, I finally confronted Baradwash about her inability to lead with direction. We had a pretty heated argument, I'll be honest. I, I didn't think the chief had it in her. She clung to the hopeless belief that the team would see things through. I thought she would never give up. But after a while, she came back and told me she thought I might be right. To think of it, after all this time. But she made me agree not to tell the rest of the team of her acquiescence. To not disrupt her precious ecosystem. So I've got them using the portable analyzer to test our newly grown samples. That's it for our personal notes. Maybe, perhaps we should see if there are any other research documents. Like this one right here. These notes contain specifics on Miss Hainsworth's research. They indicate she was combining trace amounts of the toxin with other elements. According to this, she was trying to run more experiments at once than Miss Baradwaj approved to in an attempt to save time. Test progressing faster than expected, she wrote. Hmm. Miss Hainsworth focused on bryophyte plants to isolate those first. Do you know what a bryophyte is? Bryophytes are land plants without vascular systems. They don't produce seeds or flowers. Moss is a good example. The team must have been trying to isolate which plants were most susceptible to carrying the toxin to understand how it traveled. Miss Hainsworth was focused on bryophytes, specifically mosses, but her research is incomplete. If we can get a couple of samples, perhaps we could finish it. Look around the dome, see if you can find some equipment that looks like a bulky laptop, a portable analyzer, I have an idea. We just found one. I mean, come on, Hal. Your memory is totally slipping. It was like five seconds ago. Remember, you said we weren't going to use it yet? There you go. That analyzer already has data on it from Miss Hensworth's experiments, but we can use it to continue her work. 
we can figure out how the toxin works more specifically, maybe I can protect your food supply for the journey home. Take the analyzer out of the garden. Hopefully we can find a way to hook it up and find some specimens. So where can we hook it up? I don't remember seeing anywhere to hook it up, but okay. Oh, okay. Okay, the analyzer is connected online. What we need to do is find some samples from Miss Hainsworth's field of research. So let's start by finding some samples of bryophytes. Remember, plants without vascular systems. Mosses for the most part. There must be samples in the garden. Find and scan three of them. That should give us enough data for the analyzer. Oh, just found one. Wait. Really? Okay. Alicomium palustre. Sample is small, but there is Alicomium palustre here. This ribbed bog moss will suit our bryophyte test. Oh. You've scanned some Sphagnum <laughs> centrale, otherwise known as common peat moss. Good work. This is a bryophyte we can use to test. I need one more. Hopefully, with a much easier name. Nope, that's a tree. Nope, that's corn. We don't know what that is. Oh, it's, no, that's, uh, oh, here it is, growing on the tree. And, of course, snot. You found a healthy patch of polythricum junip juniperinum, juniper moss. This is indeed a bryophyte we can use to test. So that makes three samples. Use a portable analyzer to process them. Okay, Al. Okay. Here I go. Oh, good, I've got the data from these bryophyte plants now. Hopefully you won't have to pronounce them again. I'll be able to run simulations and test back here. I think we're on to something. Head to the north lab inside the dome and see what was being worked on there. <clears throat> Should I bring the portable analyzer with me? I mean, are you going to forget where it is? How? Can I scan any more really weird sounding? Nope, okay. To the north lab. What do we got in here? Check the terminal. That terminal's local storage has been severely damaged, but it can still read external media such as data card. Please find a data card. Why not just say it? Just say it. Just say it, how? Research notes. These notes were by Dale Zorakowski, one of the other geneticists. It appears he was working under Miss Hainsworth's direction. Terraflight strains 1 through 4, no conclusive results, it says. There's a chart that indicates that more tests were intended. So, Mr. Zurichowski was focused on terraflight plants from the dome. Do you remember what a terraflight is? <laughs> yep, you bet, but tell me anyway. Okay, unlike a bryophyte, a terraflight plant does, not have a vac does have a vascular system, but no flowers. It uses spores to reproduce. Good examples are ferns and what are sometimes called horsetails, important elements to Earth-like ecosystems. We need to complete Mr. Zorakowski's research so we can be sure that our food systems are safe. Let's deal with these terraflight plants. The analyzer is already hooked up, so let's return to the garden and find some specimens. No, you return to the garden and find some specimens. The ruined coat contains three, uh, or contains trace elements of dust and debris from the surrounding wreckage. I can also see some DNA around one in the cup. The coat belonged to gen geneticist Dale Zurichowski. There are small food wrappers in the pocket, as well as a small, worn, folded up photograph. The photo depicts the dome staff looking tired after what was probably a long day. In it are Leslie Baradwaj, Ashley Hainsworth, uh, Florent Marchand, Mr. Zurichowski, and Matsuko Bradley. In the photo, Mr. Zurichowski appears to be looking at Miss Bradley, one of the other geneticists on the team. Why do you think he's doing this? I think he likes her. <clears throat> well now, do you really think so? This photo might have captured what was intended to be a very private moment of longing. Very interesting. Or he could have just, like, looked over there. She, you know, I don't know, maybe she had gas. 
And he was like, what? We don't know. We don't know. We can theorize. You know? We can be Fox News and just make stuff up. We don't know. That's that's kind of the point. But let's go find some terafites. Since the analyzer is all set up, let's get to work. Find three samples of terafites and use the analyzer when you're done. Right. Where is it? You found a healthy patch of Asplenium Colopendrium, a Cristata fern. This is indeed a teridophyte we can use to test. Why don't these things just have normal names? You scan some Equisetum arvonse, otherwise known as Field Horse Tail. Good work. This is a teridophyte we can use to test. Good work. You're scanning things that pop up R2. You're a genius. Yeah, no, I totally recognize that as horse tail. I was like, isn't that horse tail? Oh, yes, it is. <gasps> oh, yeah, this is good choice. This tree fern, fern or Sibodium comingi, comingi will make a good specimen. This scan will help us in our test. Why don't we just call it a tree fern? Why do we have to say Sibodium comingi? That's three. That should be good enough. Use the portable analyzer to process the sample. Why, sure, you weirdo AI. I processed and received the data from the pteridophyte plants you scanned. Hopefully this will help with our food supply issues. There's only one area left. Head to the East Lab and let's complete our mission. Why do I have a feeling there's going to be a test on this? I have a feeling the next one's going to use corn and apples. And now let's go to the East Classroom where we'll learn a new type of plant. Why? Because we can. Uh, there are extensive notes quite neatly organized on another type of plant. These appear to be by Miss Mitsuko Brazzi, another geneticist at the Dome. Like with the previous research, there is no real recorded success. Miss Bradley wrote, despite large angiosperm sample population, have not yet isolated toxin. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw out a theory that we are, in fact, going to be looking for three samples of angiosperms. Do you know what an angiosperm is? Yeah. Miss Bradley was tasked with testing angiosperm species of plants. Are you familiar with angiosperm? Yes. Well, just to be sure, an angiosperm is a flowering plant. It has a vascular system and can produce flowers as a means of reproduction. If she was looking at angiosperms, there are likely samples such as trees, crops, and deciduous plants in the garden. Okay, trees like an apple tree, crops like a corn crop. I have no idea what the deciduous plant will be. Let's try the portable analyzer one more time. We can re reconfigure it for angiosperms and find some samples to scan or some specimens to scan uh, of course we can how uh, of course we can oh oh that's a standard 2d data card that makes sense often researchers made manual backups as well as allowing me to store things on the network there have been so many disruptions since this all started so much useful data has been rendered useless or inaccessible especially since i lost contact with colony b if you can find a terminal that still has a functioning card port, you might be able to read it. Yeah, we found one in the West Lab. Remember? Remember that, Al? Remember that? Like, five minutes ago? The terminal is damaged too heavily and can't be used. Isn't that a body back there? I mean, it looks a lot like a body. Why do I have a feeling that we're missing her body? We found the other guy's lab coat, which... You know, that was close enough, but... Oh, the doctor and her... Because the doctor may have had a crush on her, or she may have had gas. Either one. We don't know. On the other side of this wall was the doctor's lab coat. Okay, let's go. First, let's go read the data card. 
since that's what we do. Wait, where is it? Unfortunately, that terminal can't read data cards due to its condition. What about this one? Nope, not that one either. Reading the dark data card now. It's a bit slow since the terminal is in such poor repair. Success. The data card contains several research document backups that don't seem to pertain to the task at hand. However, there is a personal file here called Matt Brad Plog 24. Ooh. It reads, <clears throat> research could be going better. Everyone's under the gun. Ashley's poking or pushing harder each day. We know the stakes, but she still flexes her muscles. I get the sense she has more than just survival riding on this new line of experiment. She has pride and a need to prove she was right. I don't really know to whom. To, uh, to Leslie. Dale has been getting a little close lately. Sometimes I feel at ease when we do relax together, but suddenly I'll feel as if I'm the experiment. Oh, He's sweet, but a little intense. He's an excellent geneticist, though, and we need him now more than ever. That's the end of the file. Okay. So they did in fact have like something going on. But she wasn't entirely into it. Apparently. Here we go. Let's find three samples of angiosperms and use the analyzer when you're done. Maze. Right you are. These fading stocks of maize are a bit old, but they should provide the angiosperm we can use to test. Maize is corn, by the way. It's another name for corn. Apple tree. Of course, with better angiosperm than a tree ripe with apples. This scan will help us in our test. There it is. Green beans. Looks like Miss Barrage was. That doesn't even look like green beans. Okay, it looks like Miss Rawash was testing a few varieties. Thankfully, some beans have survived. This is indeed an angiosperm we can use to test. Okay, that should be enough angiosperm samples. Use the portable analyzer to process them. I'm on it, Hal. Doop, 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 doop. Excellent. I've got the data from the angiosperms. That's the last piece of data we needed. I can run a full suite of tests here now. I hope we have better success than the Agrodome screw did. It might take me a few days to complete my simulations, but it's something. I'm guessing it's going to take us till the next week. It's unfortunate that this facility was so greatly compromised. I only hope we can make use of the work that went on here. Though I imagine that garden must be a welcome change from the quarters of the colony. We must continue our work if we are to escape. So when you're ready, please head back to the shuttle and come home. I think we've actually done everything we can do here. Okay, so the male, uh, the guy and the girl were having something going on, and Ashley Hainsworth, who was Leslie's subordinate, had argued with her about doing a different kind of research, which Ashley then went along with, and then that made, I mean, which uh, Leslie went along with, and then that made Ashley push harder to get the research done because she wanted to prove that she was right. And if the research had failed, then that would show that she was wrong. So she was pushing the research too hard, or the researchers too hard, apparently. Well, you're back again. Come see me when you're ready to sync up as usual. You got it. I'm on my way. Bam, I think it up. Okay, got everything synced from today. Have fun today. Ooh, what does that mean, Hal? What are you trying to say there?
It's time, Tom. You know what to do. I'm sure you'll have fun. Wink, wink. Boom. And how is that line? Here I come, Lizzie. I'm here. I'm here, baby. What you want? Oh, again, Tom. I'm just over here trying to find new... Trying out a few new strains of vegetables. What happened with you today? Mm, not much, actually. Oh, really? But you're at the research dome, weren't you? Surely you found something useful there. You know that dome was my pride and joy. My favorite place in the whole colony. I probably spent more time there than I should have, but I loved it so much. When those vines began to develop and ruin everything, the agrodome labs were thoroughly corrupted. It took a while longer before the research dome became affected. Without access to the mangrove dome and its equipment, we were forced to use what we had on hand, but the vines hadn't reached the garden yet, so we had a bit more time. You saw it for yourself. I'm curious, did you find anything that might help with our mission? Oh, uh, you can go plant research, Ashley, or team photo. Mm. Yeah, let's go with plant research. Oh, I see. I can see the data you scan now, so that's what you're up to in there. Why does she look kind of confused? The biggest issue I remember was how difficult it was to get the results to get the results fast enough. That was the main point of contention between Ashley and me. I was adamant that we needed proper protocol since we were essentially getting one last good chance to do something. She thought that speed was more important. You see, by the time we went to the research show, our connection to the AI was tenuous. The atmospheric inf interference, the lack of power, we can only check in occasionally. Did you find anything else in that garden that might help us? Ashley. Oh no, I am so, so sorry to hear that. Despite our differences, I never wished Ashley any harm. As I mentioned last time, Ashley and I had our disagreements, but she was a damn good scientist, at least before we all got desperate. And while Ashley was a valuable member of the team, she was also very ambitious. And I don't think I was very good at managing her, or her ambitions. You seem to be dealing with the pressure of this whole situation well. How do you do it? Mm, I'm not really. Well, that's true, and you hide it well. I don't think I was able to do that at all. Did you find anything else in the garden that might help us? Yes, team photo. <gasps> oh, oh my, that is interesting. I remember this photo. But now that I see it again, the way Dale was looking at Matsuko. Dale was such an excellent researcher. I think Hudson Cartier loved him for the position. He was so studious, so dedicated. They probably considered him pretty low maintenance. And you know, to be perfectly frank, I never even considered he could express such an interest, let alone in a co-worker. He just never let on. He was strictly about his work. But Matsuka was beautiful and very smart. I guess she was the one that got through to him, woke him up, so to speak. I can't say I blame him for his affection. I suppose. Maybe it was unprofessional, but even Hudson Cartier understood that relationships were key to the survival of the colony. We weren't all drones, after all. We have needs. Yeah, the one thing about our team that I always noticed was that we were also very different. Different kinds of families, very different personalities. We we're like a garden in a way. Our own little ecosystem. I don't know, maybe maybe I was the problem. I could never create that balance that we needed to succeed. You're right, you're wrong, or maybe. You're wrong! You really think so? That's awfully sweet of you. It just feels like I was the one who didn't make it all work, you know? But listen. I actually have a meaning to ask you something. When you finally escape and get back home, what are you going to do? Oh, go up again, settle down, or travel. Settle down. Yes, I can see how that would be attractive. After all this, I imagine some peace and stability would be necessary. I think Cousin Cartier has rules about what happens to crews when they return. Psyche valves, debriefing, that sort of thing. And who knows what's changed since we've been gone. Public opinion, government regulation, all of it could affect colonization attempts, among other things. <clears throat> With our situation as it is, I wonder how much data they even have on what's happened. Perhaps almost nothing. After 16 years, 
Well, it'll be almost like you'll be returning from the dead. I'm sure so much will be different. Well, in the meantime, if you end up with the Agrodose gang, could you do me a little favor since I won't be able to my son? Could you let me know if you find out what happened to Matsuko and Dale? Now you got me thinking all about them. Dude, why are you so obsessed with her life? Or with their lives? Of course. Oh, okay. Thank you, Tom. That means so much to me. I know it's a lot to ask, but well, thank you. You really are asking a lot of me. I think it's probably time for you to get some rest, or for me to take some of this new information and get back to work on supplying your ship. It's it's nice to know that the simulated garden isn't the only bright point I have. Your visits, they're really what keeps me going. Until next time, Tom, please stay safe out there. Bow wow, take a bow wow. Sorry, that was completely inappropriate. We're co workers. Do, 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 do. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to be going for day eight next. Day eight. Hi, Tom. Please just see me right away. We should talk. Okay, so that's where we'll be picking it up on the next one.